What is going on, YouTube? Welcome to We Sibs West Coast, East Coast Siblings, where we talk about your favorite movies and TV shows. Today, we have the season finale, yes, episode 10 of Cursed on Netflix starring Katherine Langford. So many major things happen to set up for season two. We're gonna talk about the three things you need to know, the three biggest takeaways from the episode. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell. Also guys, Umbrella Academy season two is on Netflix now. I will leave a link in the description. Our sister channel, Lada Quinte Ledger is covering that. Go ahead over there and start that series. But for now, let's get into it. Starting off with big takeaway number one, guys, Morgana, who has long been teased to be the most OP character in the entire franchise. And like I said, Said, could probably determine the fate of all these characters in the series yeah uh she becomes the widow it was super weird how it happened though there was kind of this weird animation where the sword went through the back of morgana's head and killed the widow i don't know if the sword was acting on its own volition or if she wielded the sword to kill her i don't see how that could happen as she's a mere mortal and widow is like literally the grim reaper now morgana chooses to side with nimue instead of killing her to become the the best sorcerer the sorcerer supreme uh she decides to side with her and let whatever happens happen now i do still think she's going to become the Sorcerer Supreme, Morgan Le Fay. But I do think she'll be adding some more powers in season two as, yes, yeah, she can see the unnatural and is the widow now, but she could already do that because she was working with the Kaliak, so that's redundant. Plus, Autumn Widow powers don't really help because Morgana was able to kill the widow as a mortal. Uh, even with the sort of power so that doesn't make her more powerful than Nimue So I think she'll definitely be adding on more powers to beef up her abilities moving on to big takeaway number two guys We have Merlin getting his sword of power back now. We'll talk about why he grabbed that sword in a second I honestly feel like it was a little lazy the effects for his powers It's like they couldn't think of anything So they said ah, just let lightning shoot out of his hands like where, what's what's that is he Thor now? They even did the lightning eye thing from Thor Ragnarok so and it looked a lot cheaper But I guess that's due to budget anyway What they were trying to show you is that Merlin is super OP wielding the sword I'd probably put him at number one now above Nimue and Morgana obviously but speaking of Nimue getting into big takeaway number three She's dead yeah, nobody believes that. Yeah, so Nimue's death comes courtesy of Iris, who's been getting denied while trying to kill her for several episodes now. She finally gets one arrow into the chest. Nimue seemingly shrugs it off with little to no blood loss, and she proceeds to hang on to her father's hand off the side of a waterfall. Also, Merlin, who just minutes before was bleeding out so bad he couldn't walk, now has the strength to hold another person. Hmm. Anyway, they did the cliche where the hero falls off of a waterfall, so we don't know if they're dead. Now, here's why this is important. If she's not dead, then that means the widow's prophecy has not come true yet, meaning that Nimue's death is still to come. That would not be great for Catherine Langford. Uh, 13 reasons. She dies. Cursed. She dies. Am I sensing a pattern here? On the other hand, if she is dead, then that would fulfill the widow's prophecy. And then Merlin, using the sword of power, could then resurrect her with his OP wizardry. That rhymes. Let me know your predictions on how that's gonna play out. But speaking of predictions, that's gonna be one of mine. I think that Nimue actually is dead and that Merlin will use the sword to resurrect her for season two. Another prediction, I think we're gonna see full-fledged Morgan Le Fay by the end of season two. I think she's gonna go power hungry and in her lust for power, she's gonna get killed by the duo of Nimue and Arthur. Yeah, so in an episode that revealed the Fey people getting saved by the Red Spear and the fact that the Grey Monk is Lancelot, Come on. I thought there was a lot to dig into. Great episode. I'm excited for season two. Let me know if you are as well. If you're looking for what next to watch, Umbrella Academy season two is on Netflix. I know you have Netflix because you're watching Curse, so go check that out. Links will be in the description. Follow the Lotta Quinte Ledger as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I already said that. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.